Hi, Stephen. My name is Nadim. It's great to meet you. Hey, pleasure to meet you, man. My first question to you is the soundtrack was spectacular. Yeah. How did you go about selecting the songs to really make them match that perfect scene? Uh, yeah, no, I, I definitely selected every song in the soundtrack, mainly because I just grew up off of 90s music. And so for me, before yeah. I start any project, before I even like either write or develop, I always create like a music playlist and I either send it out to the writers, the visual effects department, like anybody so they could get in the mood, cinematographer. Um, and so that's where it started. And then as we started to develop the film and we got into post-production, there were just more opportunities to use more 90s music, like Elena's introduction with SWV and things like that. Um, yeah. But I just, this music I fell in love with and I felt like culturally we never got to see in, or hear in a movie theater to kind of give that experience. So. Yeah, I dove deep, pretty, pretty deep with that one. I also read that you uh, you mentioned that the film helped you tap into your weird sense of humor. What's your favorite joke in the movie? My favorite joke is Mirage's joke uh, when he says, uh, <laughs> but you were inside me. That's my favorite joke in the whole yeah. film. <laughs> uh, I remember us coming, in, coming up with it in uh, yeah. the booth and we were trying to figure out how to top this one joke we already had. And I was throwing out lines of Pete Davidson, but it was swimming around it. Like it didn't really like yeah. hit that joke. And then Pete just said it into the mic, like, but you were inside me. And we all just burst it out laughing. Like that's the moment. So that's my favorite joke for sure. Makes people uncomfortable. It's a great one. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So what do you think makes Transformers so enduring as a franchise that keeps people coming back for more? What's the secret weapon? Oh, that's a great question. Like, I feel like, I feel like there's a few things. Like one of the secret weapons mm -hmm. is that every, I don't even know, 10 years or decade or so, the, the movie finds a way to keep up and adapt with like the times. So whether it's the 80s with the animated movie, uh, the 90s, Beast Wars, early 2000s, live action, and now here we are with Beast yeah. Wars live action. Um, and the technology, I would have to say, in the CGI with the characters like Primal and all the work we put into it. But honestly, I think it's it's, the characters themselves like the heart of the story like people want to see optimus prime people love bumblebee uh and then you have that human and robot dynamic that just makes you feel special people want to see optimus prime people love bumblebee uh and then you have that human and robot dynamic that just makes you feel special you know it feels like there's a lot of heart there um we find ways to make the the humans feel like heroes and part of the battle uh, I think all those sort of elements bring people back, you know, every time we see another Transformers. Perfectly stated. Thank you so much for your time. It was uh, great talking to you. Thank you. Same.